Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to another episode here where it's all about breathing. Inhale and exhale and getting a whole lot more selfish. Today, we're diving on the deep end of self-care but I'm putting a little twist on it. We're talking about the three unconventional practices that might just revolutionize the way you care for yourself. And y'all know how we do it around here. It is all about prioritizing you. So let's get cozy. Go grab your favorite beverage, cup of tea, coffee, lemon water, wine, whatever floats your boat. And let's dive into the unconventional practices of self-care. You're going to love this. All right. So first up on our list is setting boundaries. Now, I know this might sound like a cliche, but trust me, it's crucial for your well-being. We're not just talking about setting boundaries with that one toxic friend or that over bearing family member. We're talking about setting boundaries with everyone in your life, in your space, from your boss to your significant other to your children. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I already know I'm about to share something with you that you already know, but you need to hear it anyway. So think about it. How often do we say yes to things that we don't want to do simply because we feel guilty for saying no? Here's the thing. Setting boundaries isn't about being rude or selfish. It's selfish, self-love, self-care. It's about prioritizing your mental and emotional well-being. It's about recognizing your limits and honoring them, even if it means disappointing others temporarily. Remember, your needs are just as valid as anyone else's. So here's your permission moment to put this on your self-care list, setting boundaries, saying no to other obligations, other things that are not aligned with your top priorities is perfectly fine when you're saying yes to yourself, yes to your sanity, yes to your peace of mind. Remember that everybody has shit going on constantly. But what about you? Set boundaries that make sure you don't overwhelm yourself with doing too many things for everybody else and forgetting about the number one top priority. And that's you. I feel like we need to inhale and exhale on that. Inhale and exhale. Moving on. Okay, so do I have any ex-people pleasers out there? Okay, or maybe you're struggling with this right now. Let's talk about being straightforward. Okay, ladies, it's time to ditch the passive aggressive behavior and embrace direct communication. Now I get it. Confrontation can be a bit uncomfortable, but so can sitting back, biting your words and wishing you would have spoke up for yourself. So trust me, it's worth it in the long run. So being straightforward means speaking your truth with honesty and respect. You know this. It means expressing your needs and your desires without beating around the bush, all that little fluff. And guess what? You have every right to do so without feeling guilty. Your feelings and thoughts are valid and you deserve to express them openly and authentically. And let me add this. Ooh, authentically. Being your true, authentic self, expressing the way you are, expressing who you are, being confident in expressing who you are is a whole other level of being true to yourself. It feels so amazing. I can think back during a broken time in my life after the loss of my sister, where I kind of just sat back on a lot of things. And then it took me some years to eventually or gradually build my confidence back up to be this free-spirited, genuine, authentic, straightforward being that I am today. And it feels amazing. Does it bust some people's bubble? Yes, it does. And those that cannot take or appreciate your genuine, your authentic self, they're not your people anyway. So remember that people will respect you according to how you respect yourself. So your direct communication should be something that people respect, not feel intimidated by or not feel 
um, belittled by, right? This is not about being rude or disrespectful, distasteful. This is about being true to who you are. And if folks cannot appreciate that about you, they're not your people. Okay, noted. So this is your permission moment. And I think we need to inhale and exhale on that. Inhale and exhale. The flow of today's uh, topic is so on point. Lastly, let's address the elephant in the room, guilt. Ladies, it's time to ditch that shit. Let go of unnecessary guilt that comes up when it comes to putting yourself first. Self-care isn't selfish, it's selfishly essential. Okay, you deserve to prioritize your well-being without feeling guilty about it. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup, hunty. I'm feeling so dramatic today. Self-care is such a big thing for me. Taking care of yourself isn't just important, it's necessary for maintaining a healthy relationship with yourself and yes, others. So let go of that guilt and embrace the fact that by caring for yourself, you're better able to show up for others in a more meaningful and sustainable way. And side note, does the guilt still creep in when you focus more on yourself? Yes, it does. It may never disappear. And to some of you, it may. I know it still creeps in for me. So that's an honest moment here. But just like anything that pushes you out of your comfort zone, right? It's going to make you uncomfortable. It's going to feel different at times as you continue to explore the higher values, your higher potential, uh, and discover new things about yourself. It's going to push you in a space that's going to be uncomfortable. Does it mean it's a bad thing? No, it just means that you're leveling up in your self-worthiness, self-deservingness, right? Your self-careness, okay? So let's inhale and exhale on that. Inhale and exhale. So now you may be thinking these are wonderful, unconventional self-care practices to reflect on. But the question is, how do you maintain these self-care practices in your daily life, right? Well, it's about commitment. Make a conscious effort to check in with yourself regularly. Ask yourself, am I honoring my boundaries? Am I communicating my needs effectively? Am I allowing myself to let go of shit, let go of guilt? If the answer is no, don't beat yourself up. Instead, use it as an opportunity for growth and reflection. Remember, self-care is a journey, not a destination. And as you've seen and heard today, self-care is not just about the bubble baths, getting our nails done and feeling pretty, going to the spas. It is about focusing on our overall mental and spiritual wellness. And if you're doing things that are not prioritizing that, you're not going to live a fulfilled life, point blank, straightforward, period, right? You have to understand that self-care is also about your sanity about your peace of mind, about your joy, about your worthiness. I know we talk about self-worth, self-healing, uh, self-confidence, uh, all of those things. They all tie into our selfishness, but this all goes back to caring for your needs, caring for yourself. And if you're not setting boundaries, if you're not being straightforward and true to who you are, if you're not uh, realizing the things that you're holding on to that's making you feel guilty or like shit at times, then you're not truly caring for yourself, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed these three unconventional self-care practices. So thank you for tuning in, my beautiful people. Remember, you are worthy of love, care, and happiness. Yes, and shout out to my Jolie Bay community, All Access, uh, for giving me this topic to talk about. I love asking my community, what is it that you want to see more of? As well as here, what is it that you want to see more of? Drop in the comments. If you love the flow of this video and you are not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. 
you click that bell for notifications so that you hear or know when I upload the next episode and also share the love. Um, I know that there are many women or men or whoever, whatever out there that need to hear about these unconventional practices of self-care and also probably needs confirmation and permission to continue to move forward in maintaining healthy boundaries, being straightforward and letting some shit go, meaning that guilt. I love you until next time. Hello, my beautiful people. It's your fave affirmation coach, Laura Roseman. And I am super excited to share this huge, amazing news with you. My book is officially out now. Unlearn the Bullshit, a self-realization guide. Run, don't walk and get your copy right now. Link is in my bio, available on Amazon. You do not want to miss Unlearn the Bullshit. Okay.